Week, Atlanta City Council members, they are meeting right now, focused on finding a long-term fix and preventing our aging infrastructure from crumbling even further. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon is live at five from City Hall. Doug, families frustrated. How are city officials responding to this mess? Yeah, well, they're very understanding about this, guys. A lot of them actually lost water at their homes or businesses as well, and they just finished getting an update from Watershed Management as well as the mayor's office, and they said they hope to have this fixed by tonight so they can start restoring people's service as soon as possible, but they admitted this is going to keep happening because of an aging infrastructure system that needs to be fixed sooner rather than later. Are repairing pipes from 1920s, 1930s, 1940s. Members of the Atlanta City government and watershed department saying Friday's main breaks that are still leaving thousands without water should be a wake up call. And our infrastructure is crumbling, and we do know that, and we take no arguments against that. Watershed Interim Commissioner Al Wiggins, who's only been on the job for three weeks, said teams were waiting for a special part that has now arrived and will be installed soon. And we're hopeful um, that this part will be installed uh, before nightfall and we'll begin to pressurize the system. While the city is closing in on a fix, residents and business owners without water were clearly frustrated during public comment Monday. Now the uh, city's water access is knocked out of operation with abysmal communication and transparency. This wasn't a hurricane. This wasn't a tornado. This was not an act of God. This was an act of negligence. Uh, the growing of our city, I don't think, matches the pipes of our city. Council member Antonio Lewis, who chairs the city's utilities committee, said Atlanta's aging pipes need to be replaced. But he also said a lack of highly trained workers that could have maybe fixed the problem sooner is also a big need for the city. Until we're able to increase the department staffing levels, entry level, the people are on the ground, I don't think it fully works. I think that we're on the way. Yeah, and Lewis actually scheduled a work session for next Tuesday so that they can address some of these issues. The mayor's office also apologized for their lack of communication just a minute ago and said they will do better moving forward. And that is important because once this pipe is replaced and those lines are pressurized, there's going to be an 18 hour period where the watershed department is going to be monitoring for the safety of the water before they can lift that boil water advisory. So we'll, of course, keep you updated as soon as we learn more. From City Hall, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.